And we know that when you take our children, we have a worse outcome for these kids than even if their parents were abused. For the last two decades, parents have been complaining about what's been happening in the courts related to a divorce, custody, or probate case. These parents have protested in the street, written complaints to the state bar. They've even contacted the local media. And frustrated that the media doesn't cover the family courts, they've taken to social media. And when that didn't work, some parents in Silicon Valley decided to do something different. They set out to mail some postcards about an attorney who was appointed as minors counsel. When a judge appoints a minor's counsel in a parent's divorce or custody case, that attorney has immunity. They're supposed to act in the best interest of the children, but that's not really defined. Before you know it, these attorneys are billing parents $400 to $500 an hour to read every pleading in their divorce case, even if it doesn't really have anything to do with the children. And soon, these attorneys, even if parents can't afford their own attorneys, are making more money than the child support that is at the center of the divorce case. The next thing that these attorneys are commonly doing is appointing supervised visitation providers and saying that one parent shouldn't have custody or visitation with the children. The supervised visitation providers charge $150 an hour for parents to see their children while they're being watched, and then there are reports issued to the Minors Council who charges to read the reports and makes recommendations to the judge. The next thing these attorneys are doing is appointing therapists and reunification camps, everybody billing for their services, and little being done for the best interests of the children. This is happening in middle-class and high-asset divorce cases. It's bankrupting families. It's more money than the child support at issue in the middle of the divorce case, and it's causing parents to lose custody time with their children during a critical time of year. So in the next few weeks, Over 2,000 postcards have been mailed to the state bar, the Santa Clara County supervisors, the elected officials in the district attorney's office, and all of the public employees in the county and in the courts, including the judges who are appointing the Minors Council, because these parents are exercising their First Amendment right, protected activity, to complain about the government.